Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I'll show you how to create a completely custom WooCommerce shop or category archive page using Breakdance. So here I am on the front end of a Breakdance website. This is the default shop page provided by Breakdance. It looks good, but I want to customize it. Maybe I want to add some category information below the product title. Maybe I want to add some shop filters on the sidebar. Let's go into the WordPress admin and let's go to Breakdance templates. And from here, we can customize our shop page. So I'll go to add template and I will choose shop page and all product archives. And now let's edit this in Breakdance. Here I am inside of Breakdance and I want to do a two column shop page. I want a sidebar on the left and my products on the right. So let's go ahead and add in a columns element and let's choose two columns. Let's click this left column and for size, let's make this 25% width, maybe a little wider. Let's go with 30% and then let's add a shop filters element to this column. Here are our filters. Now let's go ahead and add a shop page element to the right column. And this looks good, but I think four is too many per row. So let's go to products list in the shop page. Let's go to layout and let's do products per row. Let's choose three. That's a little bit better. And we could change the space between products if we want, but I actually like it on the default. So I'm going to leave it there. Let's go ahead and customize this a little bit. So let's say we want to show more elements in the products list. Let's go to elements and let's go to categories. Let's enable the categories. Now we will see the categories in the products list. Let's add some space after. That looks a bit better. Maybe we don't want to display the cart button. We could go to elements. We could go to button. We could disable that. And there we go, no cart button. Although I'd like to keep it enabled, so I'll leave it enabled. Maybe I want to customize the styles of that cart button. I could do that here, although I highly recommend using the global styles because when you use global styles, which you can find at global settings, WooCommerce, those styles will affect everywhere that you have products lists, secondary buttons, etc. So if I really want to customize the color, my best bet is to come into the global styles and do it and only use the element specific styles for things I can't achieve with the global styles. Okay, let's say I wanted to uh, add custom styles to the product wrapper though. I could give it say a white background. Maybe I wanna give it some padding, say 20 pixels on either side. And let's give it a nice shadow. And let's probably too much blur for that shadow. Let's make it a little more transparent and let's give it a little bit of a border radius. Let's go to 10 pixels. And now I've created this kind of card based layout. I think that would look better if we only had two per row. So let's go to products list layout and do two per row. There we go. I've now created a custom shop page. Let's customize the filters though. So by default, we've got our active filters, price filter, rating filter. None of the products have any ratings. That's why the ratings aren't showing up and attribute filter. Let's say I want to customize the attribute filter though. Let's say I want to have uh, one filter for filtering by color. And let's say I want to have another for filtering by size. I'll just add another filter. I will choose filter by attribute and I will choose attribute size. And now I can filter by size and I can filter by color. Let's go ahead and save this and take a look on the front end so we could play with those nice filtering options. And there we go. Let's filter. There are active filters. Let's only find blue products. These are, this is a variable product as a blue option. There's another blue product. Let's go ahead and clear out those filters. Um, all works beautifully. Let's go back into breakdance and let's customize the design of these filters a little bit. To do that, we will just click the filters element, go to design. And here we can adjust the styles for the chips, the typography, the price filter, everything. Maybe I want to use a different style for the um, bar background and selection. Oops, I made my background purple. I want to keep my background white and let's make that selection red. But again, I recommend using the global styles for this. By default, Breakdance is going to make all these styles inherit your global styles. So you only want to customize the styles for things you can't achieve in the global styles, which are again at Global Settings WooCommerce. Okay, this is Lewis from Breakdance. That is how to do a custom shop page and product archive template for WooCommerce using Breakdance. Thank you for watching.